A long time ago, when I was still a schoolboy, I started to read the Bible. I thought I was a Christian, but I wasn't. I later discovered that you receive salvation as a gift and you don't work for it. Otherwise, it's not a gift. If you work for it, then it's not a gift. It's something you've earned. And that we cannot earn it. It's given to us by Jesus Christ, who's died in our place for our sin. However, there were a number of steps on the way to convincing me that what the Bible says is true. And one of the things that convinced me is this, is at the end of John's Gospel, the last chapter and the last couple of verses. Now bear in mind he's written this Gospel, he's recorded the miracles and he's recorded things that Jesus Christ said about himself, he's recorded the fact that he claimed to be the Son of God, he's also recorded the fact that he's seen Jesus alive, risen from the dead. And it says here, this is the disciple who testifies of these things and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things that Jesus did, which if they were written one by one, I suppose even the world itself would not be able to contain the books that would be written. So John was a witness. And he's also saying that there are many other people who also witnessed the same things he did. So you can, at the time, you could have checked it with them. And so therefore, what he wrote was true. This is the site that writes these things. And we, we, notice the we, we know that his testimony is true. Because it's like they've signed it. They said, here's my statement, here's my gospel. And it's like they've all put their names to it, so, so to speak. So we have to consider this. When we look at the evidence of Jesus Christ and who he is, we need to look at the evidence. It's not just pie in the sky stuff. And John has recorded some of these evidence. In fact, he's written his gospel for that very reason. He's written it as evidence for Jesus Christ being the one and only Saviour, the Son of God. And you need to read it. You need to consider his evidence and reach a verdict. My verdict is this. What John and all the other disciples wrote was perfectly true. And that we need to submit ourselves to God. We need to accept salvation as a free gift and trust in Jesus Christ with all our hearts. Amen.